This rental review is sponsored by LastPass. Hey, Kieran. What's the password for Slack again? Oh yeah, and who changed the Dropbox password? Oh yeah! Remembering all our passwords got too confusing, so I just changed them all to Slob Zombie. You what? That's completely unsafe! Guys, guys, I think I know a better solution. LastPass keeps all your passwords in one place. It fills in your usernames and passwords for you. It's like an autopilot for logging in. Oh, so LastPass does all the work. It auto fills in your credentials and keeps all of them in one convenient and secure place. That's right. And other great features include unlimited password storage, breach alerts, and you can safely and easily share your password with others. Eh, I'd rather just keep doing it the same way I've been doing it. I'm sorry, James. How about Slob Zombie 123 instead? Take control of your passwords and stop getting locked out of your accounts. Thanks again to LastPass for sponsoring this video. Click the link below to find out more. Video. Oh, yeah. Blast your lasers. Shoot your phasers. Wiggle that stick. Break that brick. All this and more at your totally awesome video store. Right next to Caldo. We even have video games for your mom and dad. They're so totally rad. So much fun to be had when you get all this and more at your totally awesome video store. Right next to Caldo. Video games. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about one of the first video game movies ever made, Joysticks. Now, this was right after Tron, Nightmares, War Games, um, before The Wizard. But this one also, like The Wizard, ends with a big video game competition. Yeah. I watched it on one of those crappy uh, bootlegs mm -hmm. because I had it. I already had I have had this for years. So why not just pop the DVD in? I know it's on YouTube now. I could have done that. But at the time, my first instinct was if I have the DVD, I'm going to watch the DVD. Well, it was one of those um, crappy discs with the, um, the stick on label, uh. which I didn't realize. But the label was paper and i'm watching it on a ps3 and you know how the ps3 gets hotter than the sun yeah. well it basically completely <laughs> fucked up the disc wow, i it's mean like here, falling here off take, take a look at this look <laughs> so not only did it peel off but it chipped apart into tiny, tiny pieces. Uh, like if these pieces were any smaller, it would be yeah. powder. I like so, how it's like a burn copy. Yeah, because like I had this bootleg for so many years and you know, I figured fine, I'll, I'll watch it that <laughs> I'm way. I'm glad you touched it all nice as if you're gonna use it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we can um, just take that. Yeah, and like the, the girl's butt is the only thing left on there. Everything else <laughs> nice. has been destroyed. That's uh, it kind of reminds me of um, a little behind the scenes when we did the Charlie's Angels episode. The Game Boy disc we had also was shredded. Oh. apart not as bad as that though like that's a hundred times worse yeah. so all those pieces are inside my ps3 <laughs> i was so pissed um so the first thing i did i had to take apart the whole ps3 to because i wanted to get all those pieces out of there when you take up have, have you guys ever taken apart a PS3? Oh, taken apart an xbox 360 but not a ps3 like, are you talking about the fat psc the original or like the slim it's, it's the slim one but okay. still yeah it's like the, the amount of screws you have to take out and every time when you take something off there's something else in the way that has mm -hmm. to come off first there's so many wires you have to disconnect mm -hmm. and finally you get to the the part where the disc is and then um it, it was a mess and there isn't really much you can do because there's still so much stuff around it so i'm going in there with a with a, a brush like trying to brush out these things i'm blowing i'm using like the the canned air You're like an archaeologist like <laughs> finding dinosaur bones yeah so i did the best i could got all this paper out put the thing back together and went to try and use it again to make sure it worked it wouldn't take the disc in again. So then there was one wire in there that I forgot to connect again. <laughs> I had to take it all apart again. And even after that, I fucked something else up. I had to go again. I so, would have just threw the fucking yeah, thing just out. buy yeah, a new one. <laughs> it honestly would have been less effort just to buy because a new like, PS3. Like, they made yeah. like the PS3 like second slim, I guess, where it has yeah. the slidey door. Oh, yeah, the slidey it, does, it doesn't do the fucking thing. It just opens up. 
Yeah, oh yeah, this is the one that slides. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been so much. Got, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got. actually, yeah. Uh, was the movie worth all this trouble? <laughs> <laughs> no. Now you know what? I I cannot give a uh, unbiased opinion. Like you know, no. Now I have the most bias towards yeah. joysticks. Yeah. This movie can go fuck itself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm also a little biased going in because I found out that it was on YouTube and Amazon Prime. Yeah. But my good friend Justin Silverman found me a copy, and it's the worst copy ever. I, yeah, so you guys were talking about it's good. There's, the, there's it, two versions on YouTube right now. Yeah. The darkest thing ever. I, like, I thought that's how the movie was. This looked like, the version I had looked like they couldn't afford lighting, and they found out after they built all the sets. Mm -hmm. Everything's super dark. I couldn't see half the movie. Like, the inside of the arcade, I'm like, this is the shittiest arcade I've ever seen. There's no lights on any of the machines. At least this one looked okay be before it got destroyed. Yeah. So yeah. I was all ready to, like, really grill in this movie, and then you guys showed me what it actually looked like. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I feel like I didn't really well, experience yeah. it. I didn't experience the classic joysticks the way it was well, intended. No. <laughs> so joysticks is the classic tale of the local angry businessman trying to take down the cool yeah. hip kid place. Yeah. Save the orphanage trope. Right. Yeah, that shows up in a it, lot of it, movies. You know, kind of like those 70s, 70s had like the roller rink kid movies. Yeah. Like, oh, they're gonna, like roller boogie. They're going to close down yeah. the place. Yeah. And this is more like the up-to-date arcade version. Are they going to close down the place in roller boogie? They're going to close something, though. Yeah. There's always like something like that. Bullshit. How do you remember roller boogie? <laughs> I'm trying to remember it. Isn't that the one? No, that's rad. I'm thinking of rad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's like a youth versus oh, God, authority yeah. thing going I on. I uh, this. Uh, joysticks, way better than rad. Yeah. I actually liked it more than Rad. <laughs> you know, my, my real opinion was it actually is pretty entertaining as far as like a really low budget and low brow comedies go. Because mm. this is a movie that um, it's not just a video game movie, but it's also it's an adult comedy. So this is not safe oh, for yeah. kids. No, it's, this it, is it, it's basically this is, yeah. like they, someone saw Tron and said, "Ooh, we need to do that with video. We're like and they, they made Porky's video games. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah, like Animal ba House basically. Kind of movies. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah, it's basically this is following in the wake of Animal House and Caddyshack, but it's also a video game movie. So they yeah. were kind of riding these two it, trends going on. It's weird, because I was looking up like the director um, who also did The Uninvited mm -hmm. and Final Justice, which was on Mystery Science Theater. Uh, he was talking about like he wanted to do this because he saw like a line of like little kids just waiting to play arcades. So I'm like, I get you want to do an arcade thing because it's big with the kids. Why would you then make like a sex comedy yeah, aimed toward yeah. like adults and teens? Yeah. So, so, and this is the only like video game movie I can think of that's like this because you go into it and you think like, oh, well, this could be like, you know, like a kid's movie. It's, it's not at all. No, it's um, not. They, they got and they, like all the major games yeah, like Pac-Man and stuff. Yeah, like which is refreshing to see something of this budget, like of such a low budget to see when they're playing Defender, they're playing Defender, uh, and when they're playing- fair, there's not like, I don't think there's a real proper release for this, considering <laughs> you have a burn copy, it's <laughs> yeah, like- do you think, did this not you know, come out I or like- Maybe, uh, like a legal Because they have, because I didn't get the Pac-Man yet, Pac-Man is all over this oh, movie. Yeah. Yeah, like the they, <laughs> they use, um, <laughs> Like Pac Man does a wipe. Transition. Like, yeah, he's, he's, that's right. The, yeah, Every like other it's, scene's like walk, walk, walk. Yeah, walk, it's, walk. it's the only movie where you could see a bunch of naked women in a bathtub with. Then all of a sudden, a Pac-Man wipes across <laughs> the screen. Oh no, no, and not a bathtub, a hot tub, hot tub in the yeah, back yeah, of a van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, which I was like, so, man, that is awesome. Like that guy has that van. I, I love that van. Yeah, Let me tell so, you. I mean, I, I don't know what the truth is, but I, I, I read somewhere that they they got the license to Pac-Man oh. when they did it. Um, I don't know, but you don't, you wouldn't see Nintendo license out Mario to be in like yeah. this adult comedy mm -hmm. thing. It was, it's just so weird when you think about it. So the whole thing with Joe Don Baker, who's trying to shut which, the place down. Which I had a, a Django moment. Like I was, I was curious about this movie, but then I saw him and I'm like, oh, now you have my attention. Yeah. I love bad Joe Don Baker oh, movies. So. I didn't know who he was, but he looks so familiar. Oh, he's and from and like, I thought, Kong. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I, like I know, and like he was in a lot of like westerns uh, and Bond he, he, films. He was but, also Valentine and James Bond. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yep, but, but the whole time I'm watching this, I thought it was Hoyt Axton, the, uh, the, <laughs> the singer who was in Gremlins. Like I knew him from Gremlins. But I'm like, it's that guy, it's the guy from Gremlins, like no, it's not. It's it's anyway. Yeah, so the movie does have another famous person in there, though, that we found out. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. King uh, Vidiot is uh, Uncle Rico the, the, from, from from Napoleon, uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> when when I was watching it, I was also watching the Wolfman uh, and Monster Squad. Yeah, yeah. I was Dynamite. watching it with my buddy Marshall, and he was the one who pointed that out. But 
Uh, so the thing about Jodon Baker, though, I understand he wants to shut the arcade down. But the thing is, the first thing he sees is he he goes to the arcade and he's like, he's like, well, I don't want my daughter coming around here. She's underage, blah, blah, blah. And everyone's like, hey, man, you're not cool. Shut up. But then two topless girls run out and and oh, like of the arcade and grab onto him. run out because they made them think the building was on yeah, fire. Yeah, and so that's the thing. Like, is he really no completely the, at fault? Uh, like, the, I the understand. Like, are the arcade? They yeah. are the bad guys. <laughs> they really are kind of. <laughs> but I will say, I found this movie very endearing. Yeah. I, I might have brought this out the wrong time. I just <laughs> I completely forgot this was going to be a prop in the video, and I just remembered, <laughs> and I went through some trouble to you know get this thing out. Anyway, this thing makes an appearance in the movie. I think. Probably. Look, look at the screenshots see if it, it's the same but this is one of the old pac-man you know tabletop games or whatever they're called so the first thing you see in the movie is the girls you know the one girl playing um arcade games but she's playing a different game than what they're showing and every time they're showing an arcade game like they show like pole position yeah the person just crashes for no reason <laughs> they're playing yeah. defender they just smash like, jungle and, hunt like they're and stuff, awful like, yeah <laughs> like it's it's like the worst video like they're trying to be like like the song's like totally awesome oh video God, games <laughs> It sounds like something like, I don't know, something Kieran would make. <laughs> it's like oh video God. games yeah. are really fun. <laughs> yeah, that song. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What is that like my Sharona sound alike? When I was watching it with my friends, they were like, is this like my Sharona, but like not yeah. quite there? So, like it just won't commit. So the movie starts, you see games, they're played awful. You see a girl, then you see the nerdy stereotype from like Revenge of the Nerds, like a couple years later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he calls his wiener Simba. Simba, which yeah. I thought was weird, yeah. It's like, he pulls out the fence, like, hope um, you girls want to meet Simba. And then a cop drives by. It's like the and, weirdest and, and fucking movie. the cop movie. doesn't arrest him. He just looks at him like, what the fuck are you doing, also, dude? I read up that he didn't have a permit for that scene, so they had to shoot it in an hour. So that cop might have just been a real cop that yeah, was like, that what the fuck's going on over yeah. here? And then they go to the arcade. There's like an old looking monk. There's weird stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah. So Eugene, you think he's going to be like the butt of every joke. And then he works for Jeff, uh, the, the, the arcade guy. Yeah. And he meets, uh, what's his name? Bordis or what is it? No, Borfus. Gorfus? McDorfus. McDorfus. Yeah. yeah. Dorfus. So well, I hate um, it. I hated that character, well, the fat guy. Well, uh, so the thing is like, you think that he's just going to get shit on the whole yeah. movie and then he's going to, but no, they become like friends. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it's like their whole, they're like, we're going to get you laid, man. Like <laughs> he's never like a, the butt of the joke again after that. Everybody's totally cool with him. And he because they, the three of them yeah. become friends, which I was like thinking it's going to be the cool guy is making fun of the, the poor nerdy dude. And, and all this stuff, but this movie, like they, I don't know, the it, group it of friends. Your expectations. Yeah, they, <laughs> the the group of friends, like they became close friends, and I I liked that. I I thought it was a little bit different, and I mm. liked that they that they cared about this arcade mm. to save it. Like they really they wanted also, to. I can't deal with like the side girl's accent. She's like, "Hello, daddy." Yeah, oh, yeah. She's it's like, like valley girl. I was like, trying to like, yeah. what kind of accent she's trying to it's do? Like, it's, it's just like, like valley, valley girl. girl. Yeah, it's like awful. really bad. Yeah. Daddy, would you like to get out of my rave, okay? I am laying down the law about that arcade, young lady. Oh, Daddy, that reminds me. Connie and I were like going to go shopping at the Bonorama. Could I have some Billy's then? Pardon? You know, I think you cut it lettuce once or was a cabbage. All right, all right. Uh... <laughs> this feels like something I would love. But maybe it's because I, you know, Justin gave me the worst version of the movie. Um, <laughs> not, not as bad as uh, as, as my ever. <laughs> but like, I don't know. There's, I, I'm realizing a lot of like these movies are really feel dated. Like all this stuff with like the constant nudity, which I'm fine with. But I'm just thinking, I'm like, oh yeah, life was different before internet porn. Like people had, this is all people really yeah, had. Yeah. Like, oh, there's boobs in this movie. But now it's just like, ah, eh, there's boobs. Who there's gives a shit? For mom and dad. Yeah. There's tons of like nudity all the time in this film. There's a scene where the guy's Dorfus, uh, sorry, uh, they're John Belushi, yeah. is trying to have, they're going to have sex with an unconscious drugged woman. Which made me really uncomfortable. I was like, Ugh. Chihuahua. Yeah. You know, and, and then all this weird stuff happens to me. But the weirdest thing, which I felt was the, like the fucking doesn't make any sense in the movie, is they're able to move an entire, uh, 
truck full of arcades. <laughs> An entire arcade into a truck in yeah, like because yeah. you know we, we help twenty minutes video game conventions. Yeah, and that is and moving one arcade takes at least. Yeah. Like a good twenty to thirty it, it, minutes it if you're going to move it to a truck. Yeah, yeah. I, I counted because it was in real time. Because like they're at the house while they're doing yeah. the arcades. It took them five minutes to load up thirty five arcade yeah. machines, <laughs> and they don't have a lift gate. Yeah, they don't have a lift. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't. I don't want to talk about too that, much like, about logistics. Well, so I yeah. guess it wasn't a DDR machine because uh, you know DDR machines weigh like. <laughs> 800 as pounds you as you guys have yeah as as i um, found out one day when i almost decap was cut my head off <laughs> here's what i i want to know uh that the big system that they're playing with the big like uh joist oh, the yeah. joysticks those big joysticks were those, yeah like i real? think so no, no, no the thing was yeah. as i'm watching it i was really like i'm like intense into it because i was also like drinking yeah. a little bit while i watched this <laughs> but then like uh i'm like you know what those things aren't fucking hooked up to anything. Well, Those buttons don't work. They, They're they, not playing it, that game. It, 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 like, I was really one, crushed. One, it, it, <laughs> that could be something they use. I mean, like, not in yeah. the fucking movie, but you could make one of those. I'm sure. I yeah. mean, it was on but a ball or something They were something playing like Satan's Hollow. Doesn't it have that yeah. weird-ass well, fucking they, yeah, controller? Yeah, they were playing Satan's Hollow, and then they played uh, Super Pac-Man at the end of the game, which, which they... The one guy was always on the Apples level, and that's, like, the first level of Super <laughs> Pac-Man. I was like, man... The, He's um, taking a long time. What I what I read was Satan's Hollow. That was like a game that didn't come out yet. They wanted it to like pr like premiere, kind it's of like, like the like Wizard. In this yeah. Movie. yeah. Wow. Because you imagine like Satan's Hollow, like, hey, we're gonna premiere your uh, game in this movie, and then you go watch the movie, and you're like, what the fuck is yeah, that? What? Wait, like, this is how we're gonna tell people the game is out. Yeah. King Vidiot <laughs> plays it, and <laughs> Dorfus. Oh my god. So yeah. basically, with joysticks, I think that. There is some nostalgia for this movie, but not nostalgia having seen it. I've never even heard of the movie till yeah, like yeah. maybe, maybe five years ago or so. Yeah. But um, there's some kind of nostalgia towards gaming in the early '80s, but not a nostalgia that I had anything to do with yeah. because I was just a little kid. But this gives me kind of like this, um, this look at maybe what it might have been like to be like a teen or young adult in that era when video games were just starting to take off because. In the arcades, like, you know, it was a lot of, um, like, I think it was a lot of uh, teens and young adults yeah. who would go to these arcades. It wasn't like kids. Kids weren't, like, leaving the house or whatever. Yeah. You know, so um, it's kind of like a like a little window into that time. I mean, I'm sure yeah. this is, like, this is exaggerated. This is like a, a, a farce movie. Yeah. But still, yeah. you know. You know, it's kind of like I wish I was around for that time. Because mm. by the time I was, like, 10, it was, like, 1994. Yeah. And at that time, you know, there's like afterburners and like giant arcade machines yeah. and all that stuff. It, it wasn't like, like fighting games and stuff. Too. It wasn't like the classic stuff. Well, they even say like even businessmen and stuff would like, well, business people and stuff mm. would like go and on their lunch break, like fill quarters in the Pac-Man machines and stuff. It was like a thing that was like everyone could get into, you know, it was I, I actually really liked this movie. It's stupid, yeah. but. I mean, I, I can't wait time. to I can't wait to actually see the movie one day, <laughs> like with, with, with colored right and lit right, because it sounds you guys had a great well I mean, minus the DVD. You guys seem to have enjoyed this movie, and I'm like I couldn't see half the movie. Yeah. So I, I want to know what that arcade looks like. The one thing I will <laughs> say is that uh, one guy Jeff, it's like the whole time I'm like. He's like, I just don't play video games anymore. I don't, you know, I don't play the games. And I was like, oh, yeah. I'll bet he's gonna wait. like when it was like finally the challenge. And I'm like, oh, I'll bet Jeff's gonna have to play the game now. Like I was like, <laughs> I was so psyched for it. And when you find out his reason as to not playing video games, it's really it's dark. traumatizing. <laughs> it's kind of like the scene in Gremlins where the one girl is like, oh, my father died in the chimney and all that. Yeah, it, yeah. there was like a sad scene in the Joystick. Reason she hates Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, this guy, it's his, it's his first time. Yeah, you might say. Uh -huh. And in the middle of it, the girl's dad runs in and like beats her, slaps her a bunch of times, and, like, and then oh. they move away forever. And he's just like, "Yeah, uh, then, that would ruin the, my teen years, end, like for the rest of my life." But then at the end of the movie, the grandfather comes back, <laughs> yeah. and then he brings the girl to him. It makes he, no sense. The grandfather, that who's the owner of the arcade, yeah, yeah. Oh. it's yeah, weird. It's a back. Yeah. It's a weird movie. See yeah. that that's the other thing too is like at the end of the movie th This is why and I I feel bad that I said I like this way better than rad But the reason why is at the end of rad none of the bad guys get any comeuppance yeah. But in this the mayor tells Joe Don Baker to shove it or whatever shove it up your ass or something yeah. he says uh, The Jeff gets his girlfriend and back and everything uh, everybody's all happy except for Patsy, the daughter of Joe Don Baker, who once she sees him get with the girlfriend, yeah. she's just so sad. And then they just <laughs> cut away from it. 
So it's like everyone else, even Eugene does it yeah, with that lady and stuff. Is, but like, I thought Eugene was going to get with her. Like, that's the daughter. Thought, but then he gets with the mom. The mom, who's like yeah. a dominatrix who like... I was like, okay. And then he says, like, I time to meet Simba or whatever. He, <laughs> it comes full circle. Half of this is just, like, coming back to me now. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, geez, like, so much uh, happens. Yeah, so, yeah, please watch Joysticks. Yeah, or, as long or as you're over the age of 17. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. It's it's there, it's on YouTube, and all the nudity is just in it. Oh, yeah. Really? Like, oh, YouTube is, well, like, fine with as Joysticks. As of us saying this now, someone's oh, probably no. going to, it's probably <laughs> not going to be on there much longer. But it is on Amazon Prime Video <laughs> for free. Check Included with Prime. Yeah. Stabbing oh, eyeballs, Tony. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs>